What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. Oh my god, and we are in another episode of Fallout 4, and uh, we're continuing on with our with our audience interaction series here, where I, I kind of unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on uh, what you personally feel, give you guys a little bit of screen time in my episodes. So uh, yesterday we had a couple topics uh, that you guys were interested in uh, kind of covering again. So I wanted to go through and, and cover them. So uh, we were talking, first off yesterday we were talking about The Running Man. Uh, I got to talking about uh, when I was I went to a wedding or something and the the running I don't I don't remember exactly how we got onto it or or whatnot but there was a dance back in the day called the Running Man and a lot of you have pointed out that yes it was also a uh, a movie and a book and a few million other things but uh, let's see where was it. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, Pam Duncan says, From what I remember in the 80s, Running Man was a movie and later decades followed by a TV series of the same name. It was also a dance that was done by Janet Jackson. But I guess Paula Abdul could have done it too. Um, and then she says, Bad TFL, well afraid to even to even touch that for a shout out, lol. Well, too late, Pam. You're getting a shout out anyway. Uh, Pam is, is right, sort of. So uh, I did a little bit of research from this and I found an article called Throwback the Running Man which has MC Hammer on it. And apparently, and I didn't know this, I, apparently I didn't know this, but Paula Abdul was previously a Laker girl uh, or something along that. And she was Janet Jackson's choreographer. So when Janet Jackson did The Running Man, it was actually created by Paula Abdul. So who knew? Who knew? So, so Pam was kind of right. Kind of right. Uh, and then I got to give another shout out to, oh, where was it? I'm trying to find the exact quote. Uh, here we go. Uh, Tobias L. 1991. He gives us a little bit of information about the cell stuff that I was talking about, specifically that uh, not all cells replace, replicate in 24 hours, which I guess is good to know. Uh, but he goes in to point out that uh, bad TFL stands for Bureau. Bureau? for alcohol, drugs, tobacco, firearms, and lasers. So basically it's the ATF of right now, which we, we call the ATF here in the United States, uh, but apparently they tapped on lasers to it and then decided to go ahead and add uh, Bureau on there as well. So interesting, because we don't put we don't put drugs in the ATF either, which is kind of interesting. I don't, I don't understand why we don't do that. Uh, so lastly, a lot of you guys, oh dear God, a lot of you guys came up with a ton of different horrifying, disgusting, vile, and vomit-inducing um, uh, definitions for the acronym, uh, but only one of you gave the official one. Uh, however, I've decided, and I may regret this, but I've decided to give the, the winning, I guess I should say, selection to and, and you may not want to read this comment so you if you guys have ever watched that movie uh what was it mr and mrs smith i think it was where he he did uh was it vince vaughn said earmuffs well on this one you may want to do eye muffs for the next five seconds so that you don't read this and then followed by earmuffs so you don't hear it clembot says beautiful asians in diapers tenderly farting liquid that's vile and disgusting, sir, but you do win an award. Uh, so, so the most disgusting comment goes to you. Anyways, that's... <laughs> oh my god, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should be shot for coming up with this, this audience interaction stuff or not, but you guys seem to like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you, are you liking the ability to, to get some on-screen time here? Let me know. All right, so we are gonna move. We're gonna move back into uh, where we were last night, right before we we went and dumped off at the uh, at the Red Rocket, which is to take over the settlement for the Brotherhood of Steel. And I, I feel bad here because we've technically already liberated this settlement. And this dude looked okay. He was he was stuck in a pose. Looked a little creepy. All right, I, I feel bad because we're gonna have to Excuse kill me. this girl because I'm not paying him any more money. I'm just not. It's not happening. Hello. Why do I get the impression I don't want to hear what you have to say? Uh, because you're a smart girl. So... The Brotherhood needs food. Better to donate it willingly and keep them friendly. <sighs> Doesn't sound like we have much choice. Whew. We'll contribute our crops. I'm so glad I didn't have to execute you. Oh, they're no longer allied with me. Alright, I guess she's pissed off. Oh well, I guess I don't really blame her. But hey, she was smart. She got to keep her life. I didn't have to, I didn't have to execute her, which... I guess makes me feel better. 
All right, so we have a bunch of other options here. Uh, we are still trying to kind of clear out our, uh, our quests. Um, we do have two back here at Sanctuary, which is odd because we're, we're st it's still telling us we need to report to Pallet and Dance, which I, I don't quite understand. I'm hoping that that quest isn't bugged out. Um, but let's let's go ahead and see if we can't find Shem Down's grave because uh, that'll clear up another one of the things. <laughs> I like how he's picking his pocket right there while picking a lock. That's like some multitasking right there, some hardcore multitasking. I wouldn't mind having a bunch of those little plaques though. Uh, back in back when I was growing up, they had a lot of those like stained glass, like because uh, they were actually glass. They weren't necessarily tens, and uh, the light would shine through them, and they had a bunch of little symbols like that. And I don't I don't know if they're still popular these days. I don't. My mom was big into those foofy decorating things back in the day, and you know, being a single bachelor, um, I, I don't really go for foofy decoration. So for all I know, those things could still be widely popular, but. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. So, so let me know if, if things like this still exist or if it's kind of been pushed to the side of, of fringe decorations like uh, lawn flamingos and garden gnomes. So, oh my God, could you take any longer? Sorry about that. I do not know why my, uh, why my uh, loading times are so long. Some of you guys have said it's probably all of my auto saves, but I don't think that affects it on PC. That, that wouldn't make much sense to me, honestly, because the sheer number of, uh, I mean, the power of my PC plus my SSD, uh, I, I just don't think it, I, I don't think it should affect it. But hey, you know, stranger things have happened, right? All right, what do we, looks like our grave is actually up there. I kind of wanted to do my Call of Duty or Halo jump where I could just climb on the wall there for, hello, what's up? But actually, I don't want to waste this, do I? Yep, we'll do this. Here we go. More. What? What? Hey. All right, got what? Two more? One more? Hey, buddy. Damn it. God, you were frickin' sort of, oh, that was a blood sample. It was resilient. I did not like that. Uh, that sounded like a nuke going off. I will say that's that's a little hor a little horrifying to constantly hear explosions. All right, what do we got here? Shem Drone's grave. I guess we're digging it up. It would appear so, my lord. Another loading screen, really? What did I do to you? I'm just. I, what did I do to you, Bethesda? I've nothing but loved you guys. And all I get in return is is decade-long loading screens. All right, Unstoppable Wanderer, the Gilded Grasshopper. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, Shem Drown Sword. Okay, yes. hell yes. Targets take radiation damage. Um, okay, that seems a little weird, but okay, we'll take it. I don't think we're going to use it, but we will take it. Uh, and then Fear Not, read. Fear not, though Devil's Iron makes this blade, only he who wields it can make he who wields can make it wicked. Though Devil's Iron makes this blade, only he who wields it can make it wicked. Okay. Interesting. I'll take the silver bar, copper bar, silver bar. I guess he was buried with a, a bunch of a bunch of monies and stuff. Anything else in there? Ah, gold bar. Yes, I will help myself to that. Wonderful. So I'm assuming. I don't even remember what part of, or what, what that, that quest is part of. Um, what do we have back over here? Search Earl Sterling's house. I thought we already did that. I'm trying to get to this. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Because this, oh, really, really, really? Oh, my God. Hot key hell. All right, let's see. What is it? Search Sterling's house and obtain the key to Earl. So that's just obtain and search. All right. Um... Well, we've just about gotten everything cleared out here. Uh, we could go talk with Desmona here, but I, I believe that's more oriented towards starting up the, um, what do you call it? The uh, the railroad quest line, which from what I understand is another faction. And uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comments section to cover that. Um, I plan on it. I'm just not sure if I want to cover the faction in this uh, series. And the reason I say that is because then we will inevitably do it. Because we won't do it to completion. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to obviously do that version of the story. Which I've told. I've been told that's one of the four endings. So. Oh, I thought that was like a tornado alarm or something for a second. 
I'll hand it to you. This place isn't awful. It's still a hole, but it could be worse. What the fuck is that sound? It's not like somebody was like putting a live animal through a meat grinder. Yeah, I still hear it. You're speaking. I'm listening. Holy shit, it's up on the roof. I don't know how that happened. Um I mean, it's a cow type deal, so to this place, kid. Your <laughs> Yeah. Well, in case you haven't noticed, there's a there's a a fucking cow on the roof. Here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. That's true. I saw you leave that ice box. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't That's it? That's true. The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Wonderful. I'll see if I can find some. My hero. So, Grandma's a junkie. Good to know. Good to know. All right, so Paladin dances around here somewhere. I'm going to see if I can actually start the dialogue now for that quest. That's not him. That's Preston Garvey. I don't want to talk to Preston because he's just simply going to send me on another, Hey, go save these settlers who you're eventually going to screw over with the Brotherhood of Steel. Excuse me, Paladin dance? Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Sure, why not? Ready. Roger that. Okay, so hey, what? Awaiting your command. Let's talk to him. Your thoughts? There's brotherhood, then there's everything else. Nothing in between. Okay. How do you think things are between us? I don't see how this is a relevant question right now. Okay. All right, well. That was all. Very well. Call me old-fashioned, but there's nothing better than being boots on the ground. I do not understand why this is still telling me to talk to Paladin Dance. Let's see. Talk to Railroad. Talk. Yeah, I've tried that. Obtain the key. Okay, we're, we can do that. Talk to Preston Garvey. I'm not going to do that yet. Return to Proctor Quinlan. Yeah, that's because we got her killed. Some of you pointed that out. Uh, talk with Desmona. We're going to get rid of that. Report to Night Rails. We're going to get rid of that. Um, well, I mean, I guess we could go and turn all of those in to get rid of them. See, it's telling me to report to his ass, but I can't report to him. Maybe it's because we've moved out. Because these were all... Um, pre prior to um, joining the Brotherhood, like officially, so I'm I'm thinking that that maybe we we're just screwed on that that aspect. So I, I think we need to go talk to the Elder, even though I think we've already talked to him. So I'm I'm a little confused here because I'm worried that we've broken the game because I can't talk to him because we've uh, apparently left the area where I was supposed to talk to him. I believe this is a turn in, so I'm gonna turn this in even though we betrayed the people that we hooked up. Hey there. Wake up, bro! Get out of bed! I like how you go to sleep with your hat on. That just... It just... No. No wonder it's all bent out of shape and shit. Of course, it, it would be bent out on the other side. Uh... Here we I go. have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Why in the world would you want to mess around Wrong with button. Uh... They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. Yep. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? I need to, I need to cancel this, com this conversation. Can I cancel this conversation? Nope. <sighs> Get me inside the Institute. That's all that matters. Okay, General. If you think it will really work, then you should see if Sturgis can make heads and tails of those plans. Okay. That sucks, because I think I'm Mom. fucked at this point. Please tell me I'm not screwed. Please tell me I can go around it the other way. Uh, molecular level. Okay. Return to Virgil. Shit. So we have to do it with the Minuteman aspect. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully that doesn't ruin everything. Where is Sturgis? Holy shit. Okay, now we gotta... Okay, I still need to talk to you, though. Cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own... They'll be willing to help defend it. Damn straight. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I won't be doing it right now. Settlement that's no. By no. On your map. Go find out what they need. 
More quests! More settlements supporting our cause. Damn it! All right, let's talk to Preston. So maybe this doesn't hey, break the storyline. Let's Preston find out. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. <laughs> oh. Looks like uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through. What the hell? Teleportation. <laughs> this is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? I hope so, because if it's not, I'm going to be real. goo somewhere. Scotty's going to beam me up, Seriously? and it's not going to work out well. I didn't know you could be an ex institute anything and still be breathing. Yep. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something. Lulls? But, uh, looks like it's all here. So you can build it. Yeah. I'm going to need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, okay. Uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty oh, high grade great. metal, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Okay. Sounds good. good. Work, Sturgis. Well, don't thank me yet. I think I got the gist of it, but it's going to take some time to work out the details of some of the hairier sections. Uh, Here's I hope a list you get it right. You'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary. If you want to build it there, while you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear weapon, wow. we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Fuck. Well, I think we're going to build it right over here. Yep. We can build a power plant here if we need to, and we can build the actual machine here. So, whatever it is, is going here. So, do I do I actually physically construct it, I'm assuming? Yep, right here. Uh, okay, special. Yes, that's what I'm wanting. Okay, oh, wow. Um, that's actually not that big. So, we're going to build it on... Can I rotate it? Okay, so it is, a, it is like a triangle thing. All right, we're going to put it right up against this. I wish I could see how close over the edge I am. They really should let you free cam this stuff. I'm just saying. It would be a lot easier to see. Because I, I can't tell how far over the edge I am. Alright, fuck it. Right, that works. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, cancel. I need to move it back like a micrometer. How about that? Uh, back a little bit more. There we go. Wow, that actually is almost perfect. It's a little, it's a little womper jawed, so the OCD people are going to be freaking the hell out. But that's all right, not my fault. Okay, so this requires power. Um, I don't know how much power, so let's find out. Power, yes, and power generators, yes. Uh, generator meter and produces five. This is a generator large, produces ten. Okay, so we're going to set this up right next to it. For ease. Nope, nope, nope. God dang it. There we go. There's one. And actually, you know, we can just see if that's enough. Uh, space attach wire. And then to this thing. No, no, really? You don't want to attach at all? Uh. How does this not. Hmm. So I need like a nozzle or something off of this thing. Uh, power miscellaneous power. Okay, what is this? Use connect terminal. Use a connect terminal to access functional. To that. okay, no. All right, how the fuck am I supposed to connect this thing? All right, let's talk to him. Maybe he can do it. Hey Sturgis, how's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah, it's right behind you, dickbag. Yeah, ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption, at least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things Wonderful. that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Sounds good to me. All right, build the console, build the relay dish, build the beam emitter. Console, relay dish, beam emitter. Thanks, Oh, okay. right on. Good deal. 
One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. Fucking I'll see wonderful. you over at the building site. Wonderful. Good luck. Yeah, thanks for that. All right. Um, okay, hold the. There we go. All right. Special. So, holy shit. That is huge. Um, okay. Wow! That's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um. Does that need to be, like, up on top there? Maybe? No? Okay, I'm gonna set this right here. And then... We need a console. Uh, oh, we don't have a biometric scanner. Q, tag for research. Okay, so we're gonna have to find that thing. Um, that's fine, that's fine. All right, so first off, I wanna move this. Let's move it over real quick. Okay, let's grab you. And move you to the middle here-ish, right there. And let's grab this. Move you. Done. Okay. So, wow, that thing is fucking ridiculous. I'm still surprised that this doesn't fit on top there. It just feels like it should fit on top. I'm just saying. That requires 20 power. Jesus Christ, that's insane. That's going to be a lot of these. Uh, actually, no. It's only going to be... So we need, like, three of these. Okay, that's actually not so bad. All right, let me see if I can figure out where we're going to get this scanner from, and we'll pick up there. All right, so um, I got rid of all my other waypoints, and right over here is a hospital where we can supposedly get this uh, scanner thing we need. We're going to zip over here real quick and hopefully get lucky. I believe we have all the rest of the components to build the second generator, and if we absolutely have to, I can yank the other power supply off of the, uh, the, big, um, the big water supply down below uh, by the, the river that we've got set up. So... Um, I don't think we've been over here, though, which is kind of interesting, because uh, I could have sworn we'd run through the area. Oh, wow. That looks pretty nasty. So, let's let's get into it. What are these? Pump flowers? Alright, let's do a quick save session here real quick. That is super mutants? Yep. That's two super mutants. Thought I saw a third there for a second. Alright. Anything special about these two dick bags? Let's try and take the one out in the back. Oh god dang it, I missed. Hello! I do believe we just got a two for one. I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely positive, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Fallon's department store. Okay, well. There's now a very large chunk of what looks like Barney's butthole. Um, oh. Okay, we shot him before we could detonate, so that's good. Um, really? What about the other dude? Where did he- oh, he's over here. Wow, dude, he just got fucking blown right out of his shoes, man. Poor son of a bitch. Alright, what do you got for me? You got the mini nuke, nice. I'm gonna let you keep your leg bones, because I don't really have any desire for those. Oh my god, what could possibly be good coming out of this thing up here? You know, I'm just noticing there's another access point up there. I think we're going to go up here. Yeah, I just feel better accessing it from this area. Because we should be able to walk across that, I think. All right. Well, we'll go in here in the next episode. Hopefully you guys are liking this series. If you do, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.